Hello from Bites Bread and Barbecue. This is Ross Contino. Today we're going to take a little look at Pop OS. I have not used this in the past, but I've been reading some really good things about it. And I was interested because I read it came from Colorado and is a completely US based version of Linux kernel. Uh, it is based on Ubuntu, but it has been modified with customizations in both the GNOME environment and in some of the characteristics period. It's also been rumored to be good for people who program. So let's take a little tour. This is the new version that I created in a virtual machine. Um, I have four CPUs with eight gigs of RAM running this with 50 gig hard drive, similar to other operating systems I've tested in the past in a virtual environment. And we're gonna look first at NeoFetch here just to get a little look at what I have created. And we can see that this is Pop! OS 22.04 LTS, which is current at this viewing on kernel 6.12. Um, it has uh, GNOME 42.9 running, and we can see that it's using um, 1300 megabytes uh, out of the uh, 8,000 megabytes that I've given it to run. So running pretty light with that, that environment. And you can see that the terminal popped up very quickly. So we take a look in general at this and we can see that it is a GNOME based environment. They've added switches at the top to show you your workspaces and also a menu for the applications. I really liked what they've done with the GNOME application viewer. Um, it has a library home here, but they, along the bottom, they've added these other folders that were not present in other versions of GNOME that I've looked at. It separates it by office, system, and utilities. And you probably could have done this yourself with GNOME, but it's nice that it comes this way right out of the box and separates all your different applications. The other thing that I thought was really interesting is that you can launch something here we can see Firefox is launched and let's just bring up the file folder. And this gives us a typical Linux view where you have your windows there, but Pop! OS also has what it calls a tiling feature where it puts right into effect where each one of your windows is put into a tile base with a certain amount of space, it makes working space and efficiency between multitasking really easy to do. And you can also see if you hit this button with the tiling option, you can see that there are also launchers which are available that you can see here and create. And if you drag that over, it'll even put that into the tiling system. And you can turn this on and off at will. And this creates back to the normal, what you're probably used to, window type interface. I thought this was really an interesting feature and would be helpful with productivity. I also took a look at the Pop Shop, which is their version of the uh, application or app store. Um, it has quite a few applications available on it there. It does take a little bit to load because it caches here as we pull it up uh, for the load and it'll bring it up in a second. And there we go. And you can see it also separates these out by audio, communication, education, uh, and it says that it's looking for updates here in all the different applications that I have installed already. But you can see that this is a really clean system, the way that it divides them. And when it finally updates, it also prompts at the top here the most popular downloads. And you can see one of those is Visual Studio's code, which is interesting. So they are targeting some programmers. The other thing is you can see Lutris here, which is an interface for playing Windows games on Linux. Steam is also there. So definitely targeting uh, both programmers and gamers here with this particular version of Linux. So I'm going to close out the pop shop there. Let's go take a look at system settings. And this is your typical um, no menu. It'll pull all of your different configurations that you want to do for this. And I'm going to take it all the way down to about. Now this is going to give us a similar picture to what NeoFetch told us. But again, it is um, telling us that we have a virtual box here with a disk capacity of essentially 50 gigabytes and what version of Pop! OS you're running and what version of Win is present. And this did default to X11. That may be 
because I'm running it in a virtual box. Um, I don't think that it's going to use Wayward in this situation, although I have not pursued that to see if Wayward is an option. Um, all in all, I think this is a very smooth, sweet operating system. It seems to be tailored towards those who like to program and game. And I thought that the innovations they've done to the GNOME interface is really nice. And if you're from the US like I am, it does make you feel a little bit better that you might be running an operating system from your home country, where a lot of Europe comes from Linux. So anyway, that was just a very quick look at Pop! OS. And I wanted to take a peek at it myself and hope you enjoyed the tour. If you like this, please like us below. And if you really like us, hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for stopping by at Bites Bread and Barbecue.